Welcome to Backlash. My name is Nick. Welcome to my YouTube universe. We're at the end of week one. This is our first pay-per-view. This is Backlash. We've got a couple matches here set up for you. Let's go and see what we're doing. Let's run down the card. We've got Imperium facing off against Andre and Hulk Hogan. Andre has recruited a better tag team partner than Bronson Reed. He wants to make a statement on the uh, tag team division. He has gotten his friend Hulk Hogan to tag with him. In the Hardcore Championship match, Dude Love is going one-on-one -on -one against a man making his debut in MJF. Ricochet is putting his Cruiserweight title on the line against Trick Williams. Lita versus Ronda Rousey. The winner of this match is facing the winner of the Women's Championship match, which you will see later on. Ronda is making her debut, as is Lita, but uh, Ronda is making her debut with Rowdy Roddy Piper in her corner. Can they go get the WWE Championship? Gunta is cashing in his rematch against Logan Paul in a no-holds-barred match. Gunta is, uh, is pissed off, and he's ready to, to inflict some damage on Logan Paul. Also in a no-holds-barred match, <laughs> Doink the Clown versus The Rock. We're actually putting him in a ring. They're too pissed off at each other to, uh, to have a normal match, so the referee is only there for one reason, to count the pinfall. Also in a no-holds-barred match? I don't... Another one? Three in a row? Okay. Uh, Joey the Sons Marinera is taking on Baron Corbin for the John Cena Championship. In a TLC match, Bianca Belair, Katana Chance, Caden Carter, Rhea Ripley, and Io Sky. Uh, Io Sky, of course, lost her, her championship. She lost to Rhea Ripley in the unification match. Caden and Katana lost theirs because uh, I deleted the tag team division for the women. Bianca actually won a fatal four woman match for number one contendership. That's why she's in this match. So we're going to see a five, five woman TLC match. And then finally one-on-one -on -one in a steel cage, Roman Reigns pissed after all the, uh, all the bullshit that happened on SmackDown with Damian Priest. Omos is now in the judgment day. I don't know if I did that. Hold on one second. All right. I have indeed, uh, Put Omos in the Judgment Day. Omos joins the Judgment Day. I don't know. Damian Priest helps Omos win the championship. I don't know what this means, but uh, let's get the show started. Here we go. With Imperium versus Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant, the legends. Let's go. All right, this is a number one contenders match for your tag team championship. We also have the Viking Raiders versus Alpha Academy in a number one contenders match. I guess we're going to have two number one contenders. We're going to have a... Can we do a, a triple tag match? I guess we'll find out. Here is Kaiser and Wilhelm, the uh, the Imperium. What's the other dude's name? Vinci. Here is Imperium taking on the tag team of the legends. I don't know what to call them. Here comes Brother Dude Jack, Hulk Hogan. Hulkamania is running wild. Someone's gonna crowd this wild up. Man, it 
to unite the WWE Universe behind him. That guy's giving him thumbs in the middle. The like, guy. Ah, I've seen better. <laughs> you. Come on, brother. Rip that shirt off, Hulk Hogan. There we go. Hot dog skin Hulk is back in uh, in action. Teaming up with the big back man himself, Andre El Gigante. Thumbs in the middle for you, too. I don't know how... I, everybody's giving thumbs in the middle for Andre. We're like, yeah, we'll, we'll see how you guys are. You, we lost to... A, or you lost to Bronson Reed. We saw that. Or with Bronson Reed, I should say. Jesus Christ. All right, Andre can barely walk over the top rope. But uh, he is here, and he is ready for this tag team title opportunity. There's a... There's just... Is, are those Puerto Rican flags? Is Backlash coming to you live from Puerto Rico? I guess. Here we go. Hot Dog Hulk Hogan facing off with the Vinci. Vinky. The Vinky. Alright, here comes in Big Andre. Let's see if we can make tag matches interesting by making insanely OP tag teams. This might be the way to do it. Maybe the WWE tag teams are just too too shitty. Maybe that's why I don't like tag team matches. Oh, Jesus. Andre stepping across him. Vinci is just... Dwarfed by this man. <laughs> Even Hulk Hogan is absolutely massive compared to Da uh, Vinci. DDT on Hot Dog Hulk Hogan. Going over to Ludwig Kaiser. Big knee. Running knee from Hulk Hogan. The hot dog man himself. Oh ah, Brother. That is just oh, he wants both of them. Oh, nope. and he immediately pays for that. Little back rake to the hot dog skin. It's an effective move. Big cross body. Hulk looks like he got locked in a tanning bed. Like Final Destination. It's a rather crude facial reconstruction. That's not very nice. That's not right. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? Oh, oh God. Tornado punch from Hulk Hogan. Here comes Andre back in to do some damage on Vinky. It's the turnbuckle with Vinky's lifeless body. It could be it. One. Just a one count. He's far from finished. Vinky has no energy left and he is hurting. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules. Andre flying across the ring gets countered though. Right now. Oh god. Big power bomb. That could keep Andre down forever. Hey, he's back up. <laughs> That's a lot of weight coming down in a power bomb. Oh, here comes Hulk Hogan back in again. Big boot. That could do it. No, oh, Vinky breaks it up. The Hulkster with the big boot. Kaiser has to roll out to uh, compose himself. Hulk meets him out there. Got to find a way to get out of this. Uh -oh, this 
Hulk slams him into the barricade. And throws him into the announce table. Hulk is pissed off at Vinky. Okay. He just helped him up. Oh, Kaiser knocks Hogan down. Eight count. Hogan gets back into the ring, though. That could have that could have been a big mistake from Hulk Hogan. Andre might have been looking for a new tag team. Choke slam from Hulk Hogan. Just a two count from the Hulk, Hulkster's choke slam. Ah, Sadie, what are you doing? Hello. Hello, welcome to the welcome to Backlash. We got Hulk Hogan facing off with Andre the Giant. Did you just eat or something? Oh, going up to the top rope. oh my god. Flying splash from Andre. Flying cross body. Hogan going for the leg drop. There it is. That could be it. Kaiser's out. One, two, three. There's your winners. Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant. Going on to SmackDown next week. To face the Judgment Day. Coming up next for the hardcore title in an extreme rules match, MJF making his WWE debut against Dude Love. The following contest is an extreme rules match and is for the hardcore championship. These are all All right, here comes MJF. Some strange music for him. There he is, Maxwell Jacob Friedman. Better than the best in the world, and you know it. He's pretty boring. We're going to skip his entrance. <laughs> I love MJF. Pretty boring of an intro. Oh, no. Not this guy again. Not this guy again, says Corey Graves. That's what I say every time I heard Corey Graves talking in WrestleMania Showcase. Skip through some entrances. We got a lot of uh, we got a lot of matches coming up tonight. We we got nine shows on or nine matches on the show. Let's get to it a little bit quicker, fellas. It takes a whole different sort of man to carry that championship. We're gonna become a hardcore champion without having a couple of screws loose in the memory. MJF versus sure. Dude Love. To have that title, yes, but what about challenging for it? Don't know why I made this match. I believe uh, MJF was just a contender in the hardcore division. And Dude Love needed a an opponent tonight. But uh Yeah, I'm interested to see how MJF does in his debut. 
Can he be the next successful crossover from AEW? Following in Cody Rhodes' is, is footsteps? Perhaps. <laughs> MJF with the garbage can. He says this is what I think about AEW. Uh-oh, Mick Foley going for a, a sledgehammer. Oh, the paramedics. Says Sandy Cheeks, Byron Saxon. MJF taunting dude love. Not a bold strategy when he's not down for that long. He's gonna pay for that one. And some say the only limit in an ODQ is your own imagination. Right. So Saxon wouldn't stand a chance. For everyone else, though, the sky is the limit. Anything you wish you could do to get a win, you could probably arrange it here. So my advice is to hold nothing back. Uh-oh. What a takedown. MJF going for the armbar on Mick Foley. Working the arms. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. MJF trying to break his arms. The bold strategy. I mean, I guess in a hardcore match, you're no good without your arms. cannot swing a kendo stick you cannot swing a chair if you have no arms so a good strategy by mjf big ddt from uh mjf dropping the elbow mjf in control we could have a new hardcore champion here tonight mr maxwell jacob friedman MJF with a ladder. Okay. Let's see if he actually uses this ladder or not. He's picking it up. He used the ladder. Oh my god. Hardcore MJF. He's hardcore. Yes, he is. Big spear from MJF. Three count from the spear. One ladder shot, one spear. New hardcore champion, Maxwell Jacob Friedman. And the new hardcore champion, MJF. A night and title change. We will all remember for a very long time. We'll all remember this for a very long time. Okay, what happened? I forget. Let's go to the next match. One on one for the Cruiserweight Championship, we've got Trick Williams versus Ricochet. And we will be right back. All right, here we go. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. I don't know much about Trick Williams. I like the name. The hot man I could see our cruiserweight champion being a man named Trick. Going one-on-one -on -one against Ricochet. This is the number one contender for the cruiserweight championship. Trick Williams, I like the name plate. Looks like a champion. We'll see if the sky's the limit for uh, Trick Williams here so in our universe much mode. Swagger, so much confidence. Williams sees himself as the next big thing. And he's not the only one who does. All right, Trick Williams making his debut up against uh, Ricochet. 
Also, if you've made it and stayed this far in, I'm going to say, uh, I'm gonna probably update the, the divisions maybe once a month universe. So, like, once every five or six episodes, I'll update the actual divisions. Because it's just too much to update week after week. And not much really changes. I mean, you see what happens. Pretty much. If somebody wins, they move up. If they lose, they move down like four or five spots. If they lose the championship, they move to the bottom. It's not It's not rocket surgery. All right, here comes Ricochet. Ricochet has seen plenty of success here in WWE. Coming in here to defend his Cruiserweight Championship for the second time. Rick O'Shea. Here is our Cruiserweight Championship. Beautiful title. And let's just skip ahead. We don't need to see the introductions. Here we go. Trick Williams versus Ricochet. I'm interested to see what happens in this match. He's got the cheat code. He's got the beef code, perhaps? Oh, Ricochet started off hot already. A tope over the... With the, with the plancha. Sorry, not a tope. With a plancha over the top rope. Already getting this is awesome chance. One move in. <laughs> the crowd seems to love Trick Williams versus Ricochet. Leg trapped. Looking for the heel hook stretch. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Rick Williams is actually uh pretty big for the cruiserweight division. It looks like a pretty tall dude. Reminder, these guys will never be stuck in the cruiserweight division if they do start winning. Like, let's say Ricochet defended five or six times. We would probably move him up to, like, the U.S. title or the John Cena title or something. The cruiserweight title is basically the lowest division we have. I'd say after that it would be the John Cena title and then the hardcore title. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. And of course, the US and WWE title being much more prestigious and will have much, much better competitors competing for it. But uh, I feel like the Cruiserweight title is is a fun title. It's fun to see these, these guys we don't use too often. That's mounted with punches and not, oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Seeing the guys we don't use too often. Cody Rhodes has still not made his debut yet. Everybody should just be asking, where's Cody? <laughs> Whenever Cody's not in the match, where's Cody? Big double axe handle. Trick Williams is, is in control of this match. Ricochet's hurting a little bit. Rick Williams just staring at him menacingly. Rick Williams with a rock bottom. Could that be it? One, two, no. Rick Williams does have his finisher. Could he be going for it here? Oh, big clothesline. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Ricochet counters. Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. Ooh, and that's the shot to the throat. Trick off the ropes. Nice. 
neck breaker. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Two. Rick Williams wins. Rick Williams is your new cruiserweight champion. Could this be the rise of Trick Williams? What a stunning moment. I'm excited to see it. I like Trick Williams. He's made me a, a fan. All right, next up, we've got Ronda Rousey versus Lita. This is going to be a fun one. Got two women making their debut in our universe mode here tonight. Ronda Rousey versus Lita. Winner of this is going to face the winner of the five-woman match. They do have matching kilts, Ronda and uh, Rowdy Roddy. Not much to say about Lita. I like Lita. Curious to see how she does against Ronda. Let's see if she gets our interest. I'm more kind of feeling out the, the roster these first few weeks and just seeing who we like, seeing seeing who feels good and uh, who we want to keep using further into the universe. We're going to do a lot of matches where it's uh, kind of kind of no name, no momentum matches like this division, but in the I mean, not not a no name match but in universe mode these are two two debuting wrestlers for us we have not seen them yet but there is a reason Ronda Rousey is known as the baddest woman on the planet no matter who else wants to call herself that look at what she accomplished in her is in control of Ronda Rousey and there looks like a hydration break for a second Rousey's a cut above the competition and you cannot overlook that Roddy Piper has a sledgehammer out there. We can go look at that. Why? Why? What's with the sledgehammer, Mr. Piper? Mr. Terrorizing. If Ronda spots cracks, you've got to show Ronda you're not afraid and are ready to go toe to toe with him. I like what you're thinking with that advice, Corey, but it's probably easier said than done. Oh man. Lita starting to get the crowd involved. Look out! Oh, Big dive from Lita. Lita is in control of Ronda Rousey. We could have Lita versus Mommy at some point. Lita went for her signature DDT and got countered. Check out this power. And there is Piper's pit. Ronda showing off. Ronda with the Piper's pit. This is what years of hard work and training look like. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. This, he is looking to do some serious harm. Piper has taken the, has taken the cover off of the ring uh, post. Arm buckle. But beginning to show some wear and tear. Can she do it here? 
Lita going for the pin. Wow. Thanks to Roddy Rowdy Piper. Costing Lita the victory, perhaps? Uh-oh, Lita going, or Ronda going for the arm bar. He was in the ropes, though. Mis rookie mistake by Ronda. Roddy's taking the, the cover off again. Slow count from the referee there. That could have been a three count. It's unbelievable. Is the referee working to help Lita a little bit now that uh, Lita has Roddy working against her? Twist of fate by Lita. Uh-oh, she's got some finishers saved up. This could be the end. Big DDT. Six count. Lita throws her. Hits the Hurricane Rana. That's a seven count. Lita, is she, is she going to break the count? Okay, she breaks it up. That's a nine. And that could be it. 10 count. Lita wins by count out. She hits some DDTs on the outside and, and stuns Ronda Rousey. Big upset, if I dare say. I think Lita beating Ronda is a pretty big upset. Lita's going to go on to face the winner of the uh, the women's championship match tonight. That's a, That's an upset in my book. All right, speaking of upsets, Logan Paul versus Gunta. This is Gunta's last chance. Logan is 2-0 and against Gunther, and uh, this is his rematch for the, for the championship. This is all he's got left. So can he win it back, or is uh, Logan Paul going to go 3-0 and against? We will find out. All right, we don't need to see Gunther's entrance again. Here comes the double champion. Logan Paul bringing out the Intercontinental Championship again. This could be the last time we see this belt. Rubbing it in Gunther's face. If Gunther wins, he has vowed to... Uh, to bring back the Intercontinental Championship and get rid of the U.S. title. The title he has helped build. This is the U.S. title match for the United States Championship. Here we go. Logan Paul starting off hot as he has done every time. I can't believe he is he is 2 and 0 against Gunta. Gunta is pissed. Oh, complete dead left. This is incredible. They say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. The champion's down, the champion's down. Oh my god, we're gonna have a new champion. A truly Gunta is in control. This late. 
Taking this outside. This could be good. Right hook. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Oh, ouch. Firing a match like this is when we see how merciless someone can be. What will this come down to? This is about who can weather the storm. A superstar can attack at will here. Everything with a weapon. That is what makes this so dangerous. It's anything goes. There are no limits here. And it can be chilling to see the lengths someone's willing to go to to destroy another human being. And by chilling, I mean beautiful. He's testing fate here in danger of a countout. He climbs back into the ring just in time. That was getting close. Close attack gets reversed. I'm curious to see what happens. Gunther has, or he's, he's been in control. Taking this to the floor now. Gunter from behind. Looking to cinch it in. This one may be over. Rear naked choke now locked in. Going for the rear naked on the outside. This is a no holds barred match. Curious decision there, Michael. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. Hockey sports entertainment. Oh god, he's got a hockey stick. Gunto with the hockey stick. Alright, Gunta might bring back the Intercontinental Championship. I don't think we're gonna let him, but you know what? If he if he gets the US title back and defends it enough, maybe we'll let him bring it back. This is an interesting match compared to the uh, the last two matches they've had. Gunta has been in total control. That could be it. One, two, two count. Guta is in total control. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. WWE Universe wants tables. Well, they've got tables. Oh, he dropped. ring IQ on display there. Getting back into the ring. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the rest count. Logan Paul going for the count out win. It's it's a bold strategy. Gunta is not having it though. Skin of his teeth. Jeez, what a way to make us sweat. Snap power slam. Everything working against Logan Paul now. This is Logan Paul's perseverance getting tested. Off the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? Incoming. Flying oh, splash from Gunta. Ring general hitting like the kitchen sink. There's two. Three count. Gunta wins your new U.S. champion. He finally gets it against Logan Paul. He finally pulls up, pulls off the victory. And he's our new 
champion. What a win. Tonight is All right. a night to celebrate, but let's not lose sight of the fact they have a long... Not a bad match. I'm surprised it ended so quick. Gunther kind of beat Logan's ass. All right, speaking of beating ass, The Rock and Doink. The Rock is so pissed off at Doink. He is beating him backstage. We finally gave them a no holds barred match. Hopefully they can settle all of their differences. Here we go. Here comes the court jester of Here comes the squirter himself. Funny about this evil clown. Doink the clown. There he goes. Giving us a little squirt. What the fuck? It'll be over soon. I bet it will. He's going one on one with the great one and a no holds board match. The people's great one. Dwayne the Cock Hogson. I mean, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Was supposed to go one on one with Roman Reigns until that clown came and ruined everything. Doink the clown, throwing Roman or throwing the Rock out of the the battle royal to face Roman. The Rock have a nipple piercing. I hope not. There's only one question. Okay, shut up, Saxton. Here we go. Doink versus The Rock. The Rock trying to get his revenge on Doink. I mean, it still ends by pinfall and, and submission. The rules are out, but it's still a pinfall win. What are you talking about, Saxton? So dumb. is taking it to doink Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. oh he's got a chair straight to the head of doink and the leg and the head the rock beating the shit out of doink oh dragon screw leg whip on the chair Corey, what are the perils of this match that superstars must be concerned with now, this is the type of setting where you must be aware of outside interference because when it's no disqualification, it's not considered interference. It's legal. The match can change in an instant when another individual who is not officially part of the match makes their presence felt. That's when a competitor needs to utilize the anything goes stipulation to their benefit and eliminate the mismatch. Had that move from the Rock scouted, and he goes for the pin. He gets the shoulder up in two. He really thought two count from Doink. Doink knocks down the referee. <laughs> what are we about? 
Speaking of referees, if anybody's wondering why Gunther was not suspended. It's because I forgot. <laughs> we'll let him take a few weeks off. We'll focus on some other divisions. He has won the U.S. title. He cashed in his rematch clause. Maybe that's why he got unsuspended. We had to give him a rematch. But now he'll he'll serve a couple weeks suspension. For punching the referee in the face after losing to Logan Paul on uh, SmackDown. The Rock with the bat. Maybe we need to do our hardcore matches as no hold, holds barred matches. They're actually using weapons. Going could be going for a count out victory here. Oh, he throws the Rock in. Not that smart of a move from Doink, in my opinion. I would have just thrown the rock into the barricade and tried to get the count out. Because Doink, he's been beating your ass. <laughs> Doink wants to get a real win. Uh-oh, he's beating the rock's ass, too. Slow count by the referee. After Doink punched her, I don't blame her. There's a bruise on the side of her face now from getting hit by Doink. What are we about to see? Who won the race? Charlie's horse. Counter by the rock. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. He's on his heels a bit now. Until that bell rings and his arm is raised, the rock's making it absolutely clear that he's going to keep bringing it. He gets back into the ring. The throws a chair at Doink. Doink goes to sit down in the corner and gets in with a chair. <laughs> oh, The Rock is awesome. The Rock's hardcore. We might have to do The Rock versus Dude Love. Or no, MJF is the new hardcore champion. I'm sorry. I have forgotten what has happened tonight already. So many title changes, it's crazy. Three three title matches, three title changes tonight. We've got three more to go. We'll have to see what happens. The Rock just headbutt Doink in the balls. That's an odd strategy, but uh, we'll see how it works. Did it again, it's working. The Rock could end this. Doink is, Doink is dying. The Rock gets a table. Man of the people. He, he knows we want tables. He might get a count out. Doink might not even get up. <laughs> He's telling him to get up. He doesn't want to win by count out. That's an eight. Doink's in. You okay, buddy? You just life's a joke sign. <laughs> oh fuck! One, two, three. That's it. The Rock wins. I think The Rock has showed he's ready for the hardcore division. MJF is your hardcore champion right now. The Rock. Proving in a no holds barred match, he's ready. Put him in, coach. Finally gets gets his revenge over Doink for costing him a title match. All right, Baron Corbin versus Joey the Sauce Marinara in another no holds barred match for the uh, for the John Cena Championship. We know how they work. We just saw one. <laughs> we just saw one, sir. Here comes big bald Baron Corbin. 
in our Twitch universe, he actually has hair now because he lost a feud to Bobby Lashley in the Battle of the Bald to uh, to win Goldust's wig. All right, Big Bear and Corbin facing off against Big Joey Marinara. Your John Cena champion, Joey the Sauce Marinara. He won this title over R Truth. Baron Corbin called him out and challenged him for it. Does not believe he knows anything about John Cena. This is a former race car driver, current race car driver, who is uh, dabbling in pro wrestling. He actually does not know who John Cena is. <laughs> All he knows is he is the John Cena champion. There's been some discussion about what exactly a no-holds-barred match means. And all he knows is that he's making a lot more money as John Cena champion. Whatever the hell you want. As long as you pin or submit the other competitor in the ring, go nuts. Which is exactly what I predict these two. Joey the Sauce. Taking it to Baron Corbin. Giving him a flex. Uh-oh. A rookie mistake. Baron throws Joey into the referee. This poor referee getting beat up all night. And he stonewalls Corbin. Being carried around with ease. Trying to fight their way out of harm's way. Elbows to the jaw. A bear hug. Squeeze. A big bear hug from Big Corbin. Well placed elbow. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. And a clothesline. As easy as it may seem to come into a no-DQ match with no plan other than to get violent, strategy can play a role in this. Now's the time for a superstar to get inventive, to get creative when it comes to inflicting damage on their opponents. And this one might be headed ringside. Joey Marinara going for the tables. Everybody is happy about that. Joey Marinara is a man of the people. Joey Marinero with a, a sexy wheelbarrow. <laughs> oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. This is just brute power. What a German suplex. Covered by the champ. Turn around, ref. The action's behind you. Emphatic kick out for the challenger. <laughs> the referee is counting, and Corey Graves is like, turn around, look at the crowd. The action's back there. Joey is beating Baron Corbin down. Not in a great place. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch not the pendulum backbreaker stretch hey, we're all getting free tickets to the gun show. Joey oh, flexing on him right to the back. where's he going Looking to, take to the top rope From way up. Reversal. Can he take it's it? reversed Joey should not be going to the top rope it's not his Just forte he is 6 foot 11 not a high flyer Joey getting his ass beat a little bit by Baron. Baron's making a comeback. 
He's mad we uh, we took away his baldness in universe mode. We gave him hair almost like Joey's. <laughs> Baron Corbin could be the new John Cena champion. Pissed off that, that Joey the Sauce does not know about it. There was nothing about John Cena. Uh-oh. End of days on Baron Corbin. The irony. That could be it. One, two, three. Joey defends his John Cena championship. The first champion to defend tonight. Joey's your champion. Let's go, Joey. All right, next up, we got the five-woman tag team match. Or, not tag team match. TLC match. Let's get going. Io Sky, uh, one, of the, one of the Ks, Bianca Belair, the other K, and Rhea Ripley. Hayden and Katana getting these opportunities because I dissolved the women's tag team division. Sorry. Alright, sorry for everybody who wanted to see this match. We are currently about 45 fucking minutes in. Nobody will go nobody will go for the fucking title. I don't care. We're done. This match is cancelled. Your winner is Rhea Ripley. I've had enough. Jesus Christ. All right, Omos versus Roman Reigns, one on one in a steel cage. No more, no more TLC or ladder matches in our universe. This is ridiculous. All right, Roman Reigns has been dethroned. The streak has been ended, but can he get his title back? One on one with Omos. Omos, new member of the Judgment Day. Damian Priest cashed in to help Omos win the championship. Does Damian Priest think he can't do it and Omos can? Guess we'll see. The following contest is a steep. No entrances, I'm sorry. I'm so annoyed at the how long that fucking TLC match took. <laughs> We're getting right into this one. Put the cage down. Let's go. There's an argument to be made that you must win the WWE title. Absolutely right. There have been legends and Hall of Famers who never won the title. If we do ladder matches and TLC matches, we'll do one on one. We won't do fucking multi man matches anymore. They just, they're so bad in this game. In 45 minutes, I'm just going to tell you what you missed. I'm going to cut it all out remind me to cut all that out but um all you missed Rhea Ripley went for the title twice Bianca Belair went for it twice and that was it nobody else went for the title nobody would set Rhea set the ladder up one time 30 minutes later I set it up for the second time one of the worst matches I've ever watched Omos is destroying Roman Reigns right now Holy shit, Omos is is putting Roman Reigns in a bear hug. This could this could be legit. Omos might legit be our champion. He beat Roman Reigns in the triple threat. Roman coming back now. I'm so annoyed at that TLC match. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm cutting that out to save you from 45 minutes of nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing. God, that was such a bad match. Omos is now bleeding. Kind of power 
that makes you happy. Uh oh, what's Roman going for? Big spear. Should have went for the Superman punch. One, two, three. Your winner. Holy shit. Roman Reigns back on top. Omos's reign lasts one day. Roman Reigns is your winner. And a new chapter in this title's legacy begins here. I thought the defending champion had this well in hand, but the new champ had other plans. It just goes to show you anything can happen in WWE. And that's going to do it for Backlash. Let's all uh, run down the card. Thank you guys for watching. Um, Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant teamed up to beat Imperium. MJF is your new hardcore champion, beat uh, Dude Love. Trick Williams is your new Cruiserweight champion, beat Ricochet. Lita is facing Rhea Ripley after beating Ronda Rousey. Gunther has won the U.S. title, and uh, he will now be suspended for a couple weeks after punching the referee on SmackDown last night. The Rock is facing Doink the Clown. <laughs> I think The Rock has won this rivalry. Uh, Joey Marinara beats Baron Corbin. Rhea Ripley wins the worst match ever. And Roman Reigns is back on top. But uh, thank you guys for watching. My name is Nick, and I will see you on Raw.